Is it on? I don't see the red light. It's on, trust me. And action. Hey Lisa, it's Sophie. Duh, she knows what her big sister looks like. <laughs> Duh, there might be other girls watching too. I wanted to make this video because you have a big summer coming up and you're probably gonna wanna try to use tampons for the first time. Only, we won't be here. Right, I'll be at camp with Olivia, mm -hmm. so you can watch this whenever you're ready. And for all your other friends too, like yeah. Melissa and Whitney. This is a tampon. I'm pretty sure you've seen them before in the bathroom. I started using them last year when I went to camp for the first time. I was gonna be swimming, hiking, and a pad it was, was not, not gonna, gonna cut, cut it. it. <laughs> it's made up of two parts, the applicator. The outside part. And the tampon itself. The absorbent part. That's the only part that stays inside of you. The other part just helps you get it there. And when you say there, you mean? Right, <laughs> so first things first. I got this poster from school. There are three different openings in your body. There are two you use to go to the bathroom. The middle one, that's your vagina. That's where the tampon goes in. It stays in there while the string stays on the outside of your body. You know what? Before I started using tampons, I was really, really nervous that they would get stuck. That's almost impossible. You just have to remember to relax when you pull it out. I used to think it could get lost, but those chances are pretty slim. See? Here, we have the cervix. It's a really small opening. Too small for a tampon to fit through. The tampon won't get lost because it has nowhere to go. Once it's in there, you'll barely feel it. If you do it right. Let's go back to that. It's a good idea to take a look at your own body using a small hand mirror so you can see everything we showed you on the poster. You might want to practice a couple times before you use a tampon for real. Like pick a day when your flow's medium. Mm -hmm. Not too light and not too heavy. But definitely do not try it when you're not on your period. Oh, and make sure that your little brother <laughs> isn't around to bang on the door. <laughs> not that anyone will know what you're doing because the wrapper is really quiet and easy to open. See? So to show you how it all works, I sneaked in one of Max's floaties. So for now, we'll pretend this is a vagina. This is a Tampax Pro Lite. It's a good tampon for starting out. First, get comfortable. You can sit on the toilet or stand with one leg on the seat. Hold the applicator with your thumb and middle finger in the middle of the applicator. See, it's textured here, so it should be easy to hold. Hold on, let me go zoom in. Okay, so insert the tip at an angle towards your back. The smooth, rounded tip should make it comfortable. It shouldn't hurt. If it does, just relax and try again. When your fingers meet your body, push the insertion tube in with your index finger. Remove the applicator and leave the tampon in. See, that wasn't so bad. You can take your applicator, put it back in the wrapper and just trash it. You should change your tampon regularly, ideally four to eight hours. You'll figure out what's best for you. And you'll be more comfortable if you use the lowest absorbency for your flow, but definitely do not leave it in for more than eight hours. What about leaks? Something that's really cool about Tampax Brawl is a leak guard braid that helps prevent accidents. So when you're ready to take it out, just relax your body and pull the string at an angle. See? But if you're still worried, you could always use a panty liner as backup. So if you have any more questions, log on to beangirl.com. Good luck! <laughs>